um, chaps, we're going to be talking about something a little bit different. And it's, it's something what I've known about for a year, six months. I think it's been going for a little, a little while. When I first saw it, I thought, what a load of bollocks. Um, and then I, I've started digging into it. It's something called um, flow, uh, flow Neuroscience. Sorry, um, of course, if you want to, that is, yeah, yeah, sure. so, yeah, so, so, sorry, yeah, sorry, yeah. You know, just time, expecting yeah. you to turn into a co-host. <laughs> like you, 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 we started chatting on LinkedIn. You're like, well, if you want to try mm. a headset or a couple of headsets, then then let's Absolutely. let's see. And I'm like, all right, do you know what? Let's put my money where my mouth is because us as a charity, we are massive supporters of telling people to at least try something new. That could be going to an Andy's club or the Samaritans or getting off our asses sometimes and try to avoid the whole pity party excuse my terminology but that's the only terminology I, I i say we've got to try and take steps because let's face it resources with the nhs and blah 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 they're not the best at the moment they're, they're really not absolutely so, so when when you approach about the 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 um the flow headset i was like okay let, let's give it a go and I was, I was extremely dubious about it i don't even know that's the right word but whatever thinking yeah. this is going to be a load of bollocks and i did it what was it once a day for 30 minutes every day for 10 yeah, so it's five so it's five sessions a week for the first three weeks that's the one and yep. it's 30 minutes long um each time and then it's twice a week after that from week four that, that, that's the one so there we go i've already forgotten about the first bit but <laughs> I want to slag it off, but I can't. It, yeah. if, if I'm honest with you, it, it's just same, be... same. I don't think exactly it's a case of slagging it off. It's it's trying to find fault in it. Yeah, <laughs> do, do, do you know? Yeah, but do, that... do you know? Do you know what I can't? Do? I, I've read the science about it. It's being socially prescribed, not socially, but it's being prescribed by the NHS in quite a few of the NHSs, isn't it? So Is it really? we've got. So we've got NHS pilots running at the moment that has been used on different patient groups. We've got general practice, community mental health, perinatal depression, and we've also got um, NHS frontline clinicians in our fourth pilot who are using it on themselves. So it is being used in the NHS um, and it's a non-prescription item. So at the moment where people can buy it directly from us and retailers like boots and uh, other pharmacies so it is accessible uh, which is obviously really good because most people on waiting lists may not actually get to see a specialist for a long time um and the well, gp i think, I think so, so i think the average waiting list if i do all the nhs is it is at least two years now i believe i could be wrong yeah I, I mean it varies from trust to trust to be fair but it can be very long and for most people waiting often antidepressants is the only thing and it may not be 100 percent working for them or ideal due to other underlying conditions so having an alternative or an option like flow has given many people um the ability to start their treatment and actually start seeing results because that's the good thing about flow it actually works a lot quicker than any other medication or but they can start therapy. now that's the key really isn't it yeah absolutely immediately and that's the thing once you've got your headset you can start yeah, yeah. Well, well, the one the one thing I will say is because I remember when it got to like day 10, it's, yeah, it's the 30 minutes for 10 days, isn't it? Or or whatever. I, I did start noticing some sort of clarity. Amazing. In my head. And okay. I think I've said this to Stephen Ian. I think Amy as well, we, we natter every now and again. I've, I've said that since really, really quickly, since like 10 days. Because I got yeah. I got it first and then I was... I, yes. I, I, I think you and I had a chat, Dan, I think when you first started using it after maybe two or three weeks of use yeah. and I remember you saying I um, wanted to say something negative but it actually it's positive and the fact that you had clarity um, of mind and which was amazing and obviously that was just the start of the journey I'm hoping there's been a lot more since yeah no it has it has, it has hands down I'm, I'm just I, I am amazed by it okay I'm aware well mm. that some people may not be able to afford that nor can just apologize about that yeah, uh, but, but this is one of those things where actually after me speaking to many people, three, four of them are actually in this room. There's some people who can't make it. They're, they've all pretty much said, yeah, that they don't know what it is, that there's some there's something in it. And the one thing I would mm -hmm. say is probably clarity. So 
Yeah. Amy, I know you can go very quiet, so I'm not going to let you. What's your you, you, <laughs> you, 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 you've been on it for a while? What's tell us about your journey with it? So I was I was like you, I was quite skeptical. Um, I have had medication, so I I suffer with like bouts of depression, but it's always worse in the winter. So when Dan contacted me, I was like, you know what, actually, <laughs> willing willing to give something like this a go because generally I I've stopped with the medication because of the side effects. I didn't it just didn't really work for me. So I was like, I can self manage it, and um, I'm quite aware about mental health and and managing it anyway. Um, but I'm always open to open to trying trying things. So I was quite skeptical. Um, but yeah, it was probably a similar kind of time frame from about the 10 day point. And it was, I was just finding it easier to get up in the morning. So like, I would wake up and I would just, I would wake up with that like dread <laughs> for the day. Um, yeah. it just felt a little bit easier. I did also make some other changes to my lifestyle. So I was getting out walking more and stuff because I'd let other things slip as well. But generally that's, mm-hmm. it, for me, that's how it works. I get into a bit of a bit of a spiral um start yeah. being low and then I stop looking after myself um so I found it made doing those other things easier um yeah, yeah I was I was really pleasantly surprised because it it has it has helped but it's weird because you, mm-hmm. you can't really pinpoint it's kind of like a gradual thing and then you just like oh things just feel feel easier different um, yeah yeah and I, the thing one of the main thing for me is the no side effects that's like yeah. a, a real positive me amazing well the only side effect i suppose is good yeah <laughs> yeah positive side effects i mean yeah. uh, you know i'm going uh, you know honestly speaking there are obviously minor side effects um still involved with a headset like ours but they tend to be well, now you tell us go on <laughs> <laughs> well they tend to be transient in the sense that mm. while you're wearing the headset you might feel tingling or you know itchiness or you know that everyone is different in terms of their perception as well so it will vary but they are minor and compare comparing them to antidepressants where uh, unfortunately the side effects can be quite severe it's um a definite kind of plus to pick something that you can one fit into your routine easily and have very minimal side effects if any and some people don't have any obviously um but it's interesting uh, amy you say that you know you've were able to then start doing things like being active and start maybe making changes and that's one of the things that we always want here but also the premise behind obviously the headset and the way the stimulation is working and targeting is most people who suffer from um, depression will have reduced activity in a particular part of the brain which is called the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex Um, and the neurons in that part of the brain aren't as active aren't as stimulated and therefore the neural pathways aren't um, strong and connected and because that part of the brain actually regulates mood emotion memory things like that the ability to go for a simple thing like a walk isn't something somebody suffering from depression finds easy. Mm. So, you know, you would normally feel like that's a mammoth task and probably don't want to do it. But once you've got this gentle stimulation from the headset and it starts to help the neurons getting excited and firing again and the pathways in, in the brain are better connected, going for that walk becomes easier and therefore introducing more things that you would normally do becomes easier and therefore you're naturally then strengthening the neural activity in your brain as well as the stimulation which gives you longer lasting effects basically yeah so when I when I wake up or when I woke up before you wake up Mm -hmm. and you feel like you're dragging yourself through the day um so I would do stuff but it would feel harder to do that but with since since doing that and getting past the two week point, I would kind of mm-hmm. wake up with a bit more like oh yeah, you know, I'm jump out. I'm not one person. Yeah, I'm yeah. Not one person anyway, <laughs> spring in your step. Yeah, yeah. To yeah, as much as I can for not really liking getting out of bed. But yeah, <laughs> so it was. It definitely um made it and for me because what if you wake up and you're like you already feel flat, it's harder yeah. to get yourself yeah. going. Um, so that's probably the main difference that I've noticed. And then, like you say, gradually you build build those habits in, and then that helps as well. So as part of like a bigger bigger program, it's definitely yeah, definitely worked for me. Amy, tell me just and there's there's a reason for my question here. 
Um, were you taking any medication while you were kind of particularly feeling lethargic in the morning and kind of couldn't be bothered to get out and get out of bed or was that just purely a state of mind no I yeah I don't I don't take any I haven't taken medication for probably a couple of years okay Uh, I only took it for about six months and I was just it just wasn't working for me so I I just self-managed but gradually I just in the winter generally I just kind of dragged myself through (laughs) through the days a bit more I just accept that it's going to be a little after yeah going more um so yeah, I, I wasn't on any medication or anything. So. Okay. The only reason I say that is because I had a horrible nerve problem that was that was starting from my neck and going down my arm, and they put me on some amitriptyline, which and is a well-known that's, kind of that's fairly. What was, that's what I was on for my anxiety. Yeah. Yeah. So I was on twenty milligrams a day, and apparently for um, uh, as an antidepressant, they give two hundred milligrams a day because I was kind of a bit nervous about taking it from the doctor anyway. But even that 20 milligrams a day, I mean, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm down to 10 milligrams kind of every two or three days now just to try and manage it. But dear God, I mean, you know, I'd not, like, you know, I said to you, Dan, you know, I had no trouble sleeping, but dear God, in the morning, I just could not. And, 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 and my feeling was exactly the same as what you've just described amy which is i just felt that i was kind of dragging myself through the day which is kind of why i asked whether you're on medication because that amitriptyline absolutely knocked me for six mm. well it, it's, it's it's funny you say that actually because i've taken amitriptyline for a long time just to curb in the anxiety before the full-blown crazy is set in mm-hmm. i originally started taking it because my insomnia it gets so bad like i think i've supposed to say to you steve when i couldn't sleep for like three four nights yeah and it's like get when it was getting dangerous, and the the doctors got a board with keep prescribing anti um sleeping tablets because they knew I started to take the piss quite frankly, um because I, I knew the script a lot. But I tried this amitriptyline, and first of all, I was like, no, 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 no. And then after COVID or whatever else, things got a little bit too much, just like the, the rest of the world. I ended up going on it for for quite a long time, and it did kind of help. But since since I since I started doing the, the, the flow stuff. I started realizing actually I didn't really need it that much. Mm. I think it was a month ago, a couple of weeks ago. Let, let's say a month is it was it was it was pretty close. I, I, I phoned up the doctor. I'm like, do you know what? I'm taking this amitriptyline less and less and less. Originally, I took it because it, as you know, it does knock you for six. Yeah, it just made. And I'm now I'm I'm not on a, a repeat prescript a repeat prescription. It's one if I need it, I can just ring them up, ring up, and then just get it. Yeah. And um, and there and this is on doctor's advice. So like, do you know what? If you're saying you don't need it and you're feeling no better and all this kind of stuff as well, just have it when when the when the insomnia really kicks in. Mm. And even with even with like the headset, it's just I don't know. Ian, we were in London a couple of nights ago, and I remember you 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 ringing me up saying, "Mate, if you don't want to come, I think you could, could, could tell that I was just a little bit overwhelmed with it all." And I yeah. re- I kind of did want to blow it all out. Would before be like that instant thing of like no no it can't be doing with that but there was something what you said I managed to just process stuff quicker. So has it got rid of depression for me personally? Has it wiped it out? No no it hasn't. I don't think you guys even claim that. Does it help me get over stuff a lot quicker? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And with doctor's advice, I need to stress that with my doctor's advice a month ago. They're like you know what if you don't need it that much only for the insomnia then ju- then just do that. That's really amazing, Dan. Um, and I think the the good thing is you've seen results like this within a few months. We have a 10-week cycle that um, everyone has sort of recommended to make sure they complete. But beyond that, we do recommend 6 to 12 months of long-term use to keep strengthening the neural activity and maintaining that long lasting effect yeah, so nice. if you done, yeah. if you do carry on and you know i hope you do it will continue to hopefully you know make changes that become longer lasting and manageable for you naturally as you go along and without obviously medication in this case Mm. Yeah, absolutely I'm, I'm still i'm in it for the long haul now and the, the mm, one thing is like, amy i did speak to harold actually because Har- harold's um amy's husband of course he's got to get in here somehow and he's I got know what you're gonna say as well but he, he messaged me he had messaged me like a couple of months ago i was like what what, what have you done to my wife 
and it was like all, all, all positive stuff and that, that was i did ask for his permission earlier we had a bit of a laugh, <laughs> laugh about it on whatsapp and, and whatever else so ian as well obviously i don't want to make you a spare part mate i know we're going to call ian amy <laughs> yep <laughs> amy too yeah this is a bit yeah. where you carry on the conversation ian all right thanks mate <laughs> you just just drop me in a foot like but I mean, it's interesting hearing what you've what you said, Amy, about getting out of bed with that spring in your step. Like, and I'd probably never really noticed that as much with my Amy as well. But like, she's got a fairly unique set of circumstances. She's had resistant treatment depression since the age of sixteen. We've tried all kinds of stuff over the years. We tried some pretty intense stuff last year, which worked incredibly well, and she considered herself no longer depressed for the first time since she was 16. Wow. She's had COVID wow. four times. Yeah. And the wow. last time was long COVID. So she's really struggled with the long COVID, lack of energy, struggles to do anything. She could probably go out with her friends, have a walk around the zoo for a few hours, and she's wiped out for like two days. But start the flow. Start putting it on. I mean, the kids kind of took the mickey out of her because they're like, why have you got your headphones on the wrong way around when they came downstairs? Yeah. And we had, to, we had to explain to them what, what exactly what it was. But like everybody said, it was just a, a little gradual lift over mm. a period of time. The long mm -hmm. COVID is probably a biggest challenge right now. But mm -hmm. she was getting to a point where the long COVID was really starting to affect her mental health because she was getting so frustrated that she couldn't yeah. go for a walk. She's... She's killing me for saying this. She's got a couple of, she's got a few friends in a group and they're called the zoo bitches. So they're basically, <laughs> there's four there's four of them joined a local zoo because it's round the corner from us and they all go for a walk around the zoo with the kids and look at the animals. I get sent all kinds of pictures yeah. of giraffes and all kinds of stuff when I'm at work. Anyway, I've, I've kind of digressed slightly. But a little bit, yeah. <laughs> she, she was, she was, she really, she got to the point where she'd almost stopped doing that because she knew how wiped out she was going to be. Yeah. But, but since doing this, she's seen her mum and dad more. She's kind of consistently going to the zoo. We're doing stuff. She's up to some volunteer work that she's doing in the prison that she wow. kind of volunteers in. She's doing that two days a week. And that's not a coincidence. No. Because before that, oh. she just didn't have the strength to do it. And like, a, like even yesterday, we were just sat on the sofa and just a mood was just different, like cracking jokes and all kinds oh, of stuff. And that. it just, it, it's it made a phenomenal difference over... And again, like Dan said at the start, something I was relatively was a sceptical mm. about. I was just a little bit unsure. Mm. That's amazing. I'm so pleased to hear because it's always so good to see everyone's journey because it will vary and some people see quite big changes, others see smaller changes. I mean, I don't want to take this and move it to the COVID discussion, but we do have quite a lot of you know interest in trialling something like this for those kind of conditions where people's mental health has been affected um, and is an underlying sort of issue for some people and they're kind of battling various things. But the fact that she feels different and you notice that difference is huge. Um, and I'm so pleased that you've yeah. seen that yourself. That's, it's great because it's one of those, like, she, when, when she kind of had the therapy like two years ago, it kind of felt better. Like mm -hmm. in the back of my head, it's kind of like, well, there's, the, there's always the elephant in the room of depression and kind of and and yeah. challenges like she's had anxiety and depression and it's always going to be there she knows it's always going to be there. there's going to be good days and bad days mm. but those bad days became less and less and i could gradually see little changes in behavior starting to come back yeah. in i'm thinking oh, oh we're going down that road yeah. again and then like instantly mm. you have that fear of like i can see my partner kind of slipping away a little bit day, yeah. day by day you know but like this is just Mm -hmm. change that all around and rather than kind of me feeling like i'm losing i'm getting a little bit back of her every single day which is which is oh. life that's amazing so, yeah, yeah that's amazing i think you know the big thing will be for hopefully amy to continue being consistent that's the one thing we always advise people is remain yeah. consistent so that you are continuously you know very gently stimulating your neural activity and then therefore maintaining those good effects that she's Just topping it up i suppose really aren't you yeah, yeah. basically mm. i mean having the two sessions a week i mean you guys have now tried it hopefully you can also comment it is quite easy to build into your day-to-day -day routine because it's 30 That's minute sessions yeah. they're not very long and you can do it while doing other stuff um and it's probably a small thing to do for good mental health uh, um, going forward. 
I mean, I probably wouldn't do it as a shop around Aldi because that would be that no, would, that would be quite interesting. But Amy would just sit there with, like, with the TV on and she'd just put it on. And that somebody would ask you if you'd picked exactly. it up in the middle aisle, probably wouldn't they? That's all that's all, all I do is a couple of times away at me, Geraldine, in the headset, just watching these standards. <laughs> I love that. Uh, we need a photo of that, Dan. No, he's, he's got no, to be done. No, we really just, don't know. He's got to be done, is it? I, I love that dog. I, I really do. And that's so. Uh, but, yeah, but yeah, again, I just, I just want to clarify as well. It's just, I still can't work out what it is. And do I still get insomnia? Do I still get insomnia from time to time? Yeah, 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 I do. Do I get over it quicker? Yeah, I do. Do I have my down days? I think Amy would agree with that. Do I have my down days? Yeah, yeah, I do. But yeah, again, mm -hmm. I can just get over it quicker. Mm hmm. Yeah, no, that's really good. And this is just the start, Dan. Like, you know, yeah. if with months and months of this, it will, you know, show the signs are there for you that it's already working. And with continuous, consistent use, you will hopefully see much more improvement. Yeah. Well, well the other guy who couldn't come in, how he thought he could get from the Peak District to, to Suffolk within like two and a half hours, I don't know, because it's impossible. But anyway, <laughs> he, he's been on as well. Um, Craig from East Angle Bushcraft, he, he's a, 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 well, he was a sniper and all sorts. Um, yeah. And he's been quite vocal about his mental health. And he, he said exactly the same thing, uh, more clarity and his down days have, have been getting quicker. He did, mm -hmm. he did, he did, I'm, I'm going to be careful with it because I'm not sure whether it's just so public or not, but he did say because he, he has PTSD, complex PTSD. Mm -hmm. He said that feels easier. I'm going to stop on that a bit yeah. because I don't, because I can't remember whether that bit, but he, he's yet again noticed mm -hmm. it's just made difference. life just, just that little, just that little bit easier. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And all sorts, That's yeah. also really good to hear. And there are so many. You know different um conditions that affect people and then depression is an an additional i guess and if you're treating the additional the other um condition or effects seem less and get better with time potentially in some cases as well so um hopefully we can get some more feedback off craig it'd be great to hear his yeah, no, no, absolutely so just before we we do draw to a close now i purposely gonna leave this bit to the end because i didn't want it to look like a sales picture for one of you <laughs> can yeah. you just really briefly like, explain the science behind it because obviously this isn't just mm -hmm. a gadget thing on timo or, or alibaba no. this is this absolutely is, not this is yeah. science go on no yeah, do, do, do your do your thing without looking up <laughs> <an advert, please. laughs> yeah no absolutely no I mean, I mean this has been great but it's basically a um a, a medical device it's a class 2a medical device and it's indicated for major depressive disorder so it covers mild moderate and severe depression and it uses a technology called transcranial direct current stimulation TDCS for short, which is really gentle electric um, stimulation um, that is targeting the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex of the brain. And um, TDCS itself as a technology has been around for decades. It's well known by uh, the medical community and scientifically proven. But what we've done is taken this technology that is usually used in clinics and hospitals and put it into a headset that you can use at home, making it more accessible and easier for people to manage their own uh, mental health and treat depression. So in reality, you are getting that science-backed treatment that is available normally in a hospital if you you know have that opportunity many people like we were saying earlier on are, are on waiting lists so can't so this gives them access much sooner and hopefully the treatment gets kick-started and they start feeling better and many people do reach remission and uh, one of those reasons is because they are consistent with their treatment can i give my anything what i don't <laughs> my anything what i don't like about it yeah, absolutely. Well, I'm going to anyway, but I was just being polite. Yeah. Micro, <laughs> micro, micro USB needs to be banned. <laughs> okay, I'll pass that on to our dev uh, it, team. I've, I've still got the, I've still got, no, I've, I've still got the lead for it, but if I lose that lead, I'm like, it's like micro USB, come on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll pass that on. USB-C, presumably. Yeah, no, it's got to be USB-C, isn't it, really? But yeah. you know, it, it's, for me, it, it, it's just, it's done something. 
Yeah, no, that's Absolutely. amazing. Honestly, I'm so pleased to hear all of your feedback um, and the fact that it's positive. And we're not definitely saying that it works for everyone. You know, we had this conversation right at the very start when we first spoke. Um, but for many, there is improvement and we've got some amazing real world user data that we've accumulated over the last few years. So uh, I'm pleased that you guys had a great experience so far. And I would say, please continue, you know, just carry on using it. Even when you're feeling better, carry on using it because the long term effect that you will have from six to 12 months of use will be much more uh, beneficial. And I think also, just to caveat that, I suppose, to a degree, anybody that's worried about sticking electronic pulses through their body, I mean, <laughs> Slender Tone and um, companies like that have been using it for weight loss and muscle building like forever, 40, 50 yeah. years probably. So Absolutely, yeah. I mean, the stimulation is very gentle. I mean, we didn't say, but it's zero to two milliamps, which is almost Nothing. like a household battery, yeah. Mm. Exactly. So, yes, yeah, um, so it's not even as bad as licking a square battery. <laughs> no. Which you probably and still you do now, don't you? If you haven't yeah. lived a square if you haven't lived a square battery, you haven't lived. <laughs> I'll say that as a personal view, I'm not recommending that as a CEO. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, exactly that. But on that bombshell, let me hit the on record button because that was a good one. One second.